At Federigoni we produce self-adhesive materials and very high-end specialty papers. We operate in a very exciting yet complex ecosystem, starting from brand owners, graphic designers and packaging experts, down to a multitude of printers, box makers, converters, total solution providers across the globe. On materials, it's all about making sure that the materials we provide them for their packaging applications are fully recyclable. When it comes to circularity and enabling circular economy, then number one is uh, features that are allowing uh, labels to be removed. It's also about collecting and re enabling recycling of the support and liner that is uh, removed before the label is uh, applied. We promote what we call active inclusion from the top. And we are working on three areas. We are promoting inclusive leadership programs to foster psychological safety and trust in leadership. Our processes are designed to sustain diversity, equity and inclusion. Our talent management aims at help our talent succeed in what they are most passionate about. And of course, where they can make a difference. We have a path to achieve carbon neutrality. So we have a first step at 2030, by which we want to reduce our CO2 emissions by 30% and then achieve neutrality by 2050. To do this is by really looking carefully at scope one emissions, the direct ones from our production process. Scope two, the ones that come from electricity that we buy on the market and scope three which are the emissions coming from the whole supply chain including transport extraction of raw materials and such three out of the five key strategic pillars we are focused on are really all about sustainability the number one is about having a distinctive and premium and sustainable product offering. The second pillar that has to do with ensuring the top service with the most efficient solution possible. That has a lot to do with the energy consumption, waste management, water consumption. The third pillar of our strategy is people. Of course, we are into developing all of our talents across the globe, and that includes making sure that our internal ecosystem is uh, fully focused on equity, diversity and inclusion. We focus on the health and safety of our thousands of employees around the globe, especially those in the production processes, and is also fully supportive of the so many local communities we operate with and on. The communities of people and children who use our papers to draw are very important. We've engaged with 200 cities in Italy where every year for a month, communities can go to workshops that are entirely free and find materials and pencils and brushes and colors, and they can set free and draw and paint. And we engage and we hire artists, teachers, um, educators from museums to work with the local communities. We feel a strong responsibility towards the local communities around us and a relevant initiative has to do with young women because every girl should feel free to choose the path she wants and as Fedigroni Group we want to contribute. This is why we are partnering with Inspiring Girls International, a not-for-profit organization that connects female role models from different backgrounds with young girls to really help them to think big and to follow their aspirations completely free from stereotypes. We have to increase the number of women in managerial position reaching 30% by 2030. Health and safety is very important for us and we're already on, on good track on both of these. We are accelerating so we're going faster than we thought. As a CEO at Federigoni what makes me the most proud is the enormous passion and competence of all of our people but also on its impact in the communities we play with.
And I see this trend in getting lower on plastic, replacing them with paper and other fully sustainable materials continuing across a wider and wider range of application. This sustainable transition needs to happen now and fast. Slowing down is not an option. And at Federigoni, we are fully into it.